Hi everyone, welcome back to Spinning Boot 2 Essentials by Dev Dojo, and let's continue our little refactoring here. Um, I'm gonna start again, Docker Compose up. You can double check if you still have the connection and everything after it starts. So every time I stop my Docker, I run Docker Compose down. Um, I have several Docker instances running. So that's why I always run Docker Compose down. Okay, so one thing that we need to do here is uh, let's make this a wrapper. It's a good practice. And uh, the second one, let's do some changes here. We have this anime repository, but actually this is uh, will act as a service. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to refactor. You can right click it and then refactor or just use the command to refactor and just change the name from anime repository to anime service and uh, make sure that you are renaming the field inside the anime controller and luckily we will not have to do a lot of changes here so another thing that we need to do is uh, create another package and let's call this package service let's move the anime service to the package service and inside the repository you can create and the shortcuts not working anymore a new class that will be actually an interface and this will be called anime anime repository okay now that you have this anime repository this is an interface you can extend jpa repository and you have to tell what kind of um, domain class the one that you annotated with entity will represent this jp repository and what's the attribute representing the id in my case it will be integer so if you go inside this uh, JPA repository, you can see that most of the things that we have been doing, it's already provided. So one of the things that it's not provided is uh, searching by name. Fortunately, Spring provides something really cool. We just have to call here um, a method list and we are still going to return an enemy. This uh, list import we just have to use find by name so what this is going to do it it's going to build the query based on the attributes that you are giving here um, you are telling here at the name of this method and since we are telling find by name we need to send the name so what's going to do spring will create a select from this anime database actually anime schema and then anime uh, table by select uh, everything by the name where the name equals uh, this one that we are sending here okay so we do have a repository you can see that this repository it's already a spring bean because of the spring boot application you can go inside the gpa repository we have this no repository being if you go inside we do have uh, more annotations so spring is already recognizing this as a repository so we can leave it this way and now we are going back to the service and let's do some changes here the first one we are going to get rid of all of this because now we have a database and i'm going to call this anime repository anime repository setting up as a final attribute because of the required args constructor remember this only creates the constructor with the attributes that are final in this case it will auto wire both of them and then uh, list all is just uh, anime repository dot actually it's called find all there and then uh, we do have to do some changes here so in this utils find anime or throw not found let's go um, inside this guy and uh, let's get rid of everything let's just copy this part because we are going to reuse and then you can nuke and this is the best part of programming this entire stuff now we can change here as well we don't need this list but we do need the anime repository anime repository and uh, now that we have this uh, we can just use anime repository dot find by id and uh, this one is going to return for us a optional so if you go into the method you can see that this is an optional and by using the optional you can or else throw 
and the value that we just copied from the old piece of code. Okay, so we are now searching the database and by searching the database, if we don't find that ID, we are just going to throw the same exception. So you can get rid of all this. And now let's go back to enemy service. So here, I'm just going to send this enemy repository, no changes. Save is the same thing. We can look almost everything. Uh, yeah, we can look everything. So return enemy repository dot save this enemy delete uh, it's actually the same thing we can do a couple changes here we can tell hey enemy repository instead of remove i think it's delete and we are uh, trying to find first so you have two options you can try uh, to delete and let the database decides if it exists or not and then you need to throw an exception or you do that uh, check before and then you delete safely and the uh, updates the same thing actually we don't have an update for gpa the save will also update uh, ideally you would like to check if the attribute exists before updating so you would need uh, this find but let's keep this in this simple for this training Okay, so we changed everything. Now everything is using the database instead of a static list. And uh, if we go back to the controller, looks like there is nothing happening here. So we can actually clean up a little bit this and this. And uh, we can test our application and see if our application is actually working. So just start the application, we go into the postman. And uh, what we are going to do here in the postman is just execute all the requests again. So the first one, get. Of course, we don't have anything. Then we have this one, Cowboy Bebop. We are sending a post. Okay, as we can see, we have uh, the attribute here. And then we can check the get again. Nice. Then we update. Mm, Boku no Hero. Remove this one. 204 we can get and we have the updated version we can create a new anime for example we were using berserk before let's uh, create another one and then we check the list nice now we are going to delete number one 204 and you only have one value in this list Okay, so we did all the changes that we had to do, as you can see, because we were using a kind of service class, everything is working properly. And uh, we have this uh, warning from SonarLint, we should not uh, use the, the entity uh, domain directly into the controller. Well, but uh, for this uh, training, this is more than enough, otherwise it will get complicated mapping the data. Could use my abstract well but uh, let's focus on what is important spring boot so guys um see you in the next video i think that's enough for today have a good for me night bye